The nation dedicated the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway June 1, 1985 with much fanfare as the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Mobile and Nashville districts culminated 12 years of constructing the nation's largest civil works project in history. Fast forward nearly 30 years to February 6, 2015, Officials held another ribbon cutting to open a museum that provides education outreach and features the value of transportation within the historical inland passageway. With what you have accomplished here today and with the museum and using that as a, as, a, as a mechanism and a model in order to communicate the value of the waterway and alternative modes of transportation, it means that our students who live along the waterway, each and every one of them, are going to have a great sense of, of pride and dignity, much more so in their community, knowing the asset that they live with. This here shows you where your boat is on the waterway. The doors to the museum opened to the public following the ceremony, and the people in attendance got their first look at the interactive exhibits and informational displays. We've got a little segment in there where you ride down a barge and see what's going on the river in a barge, which is really unique too. I didn't, in my career, I didn't get to ride down a barge very much, and uh, yeah, I really enjoy you know seeing things like that, seeing the river and how, how, it, uh, how it looks and everything. So it's very professionally done, a great job, and uh, that's one reason I wanted to come down to see it. And I'm very pleased, I'm glad I did. The administrator of the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway Development Authority from 1984 to 2005 recalled the significance of the project built by the Corps. It wound up costing $2, two billion, and uh, that in, uh, involved construction of 10 locks and re removing something like 350 million cubic yards of material uh, which <clears throat> was about uh, one and a half times or twice as much as uh, that was excavated in the Panama Canal. So it's by far the largest uh, earth moving project in the history of the country, I guess, maybe the world. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Nashville District constructed Bay Springs Lock and Dam in Dennis, Mississippi, and 29 miles of the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway that stretches northward and made it possible for navigation traffic to enter into Pickwick Lake on the Tennessee River and to continue to other destinations within the inland waterway transportation system. A young design engineer in the Nashville District worked on plans and specifications of the divide cut and recalls the difficulties involved with excavating the northern 29 miles of the waterway, which was 280 feet wide and 12 feet deep, and required the removal of 150 million cubic yards of earth. And a real problem was the stability uh, of those slopes from an erosion standpoint because it was sand. Uh, they tended to erode rather quickly. So getting vegetation established, riprap, uh, stabilizing disposal areas, uh, that was a big concern at the time. We had a lot of large uh, drainage structures carrying tributaries into the cut at that time during some floods actually wash out. So that was, that was an ongoing challenge for us. In the end, two districts, 125 prime contractors, and 1,200 subcontractors worked on the Tin Tom. Today, the public can learn all about the history and value of the waterway simply by visiting and touring the museum. This is Lee Roberts reporting for the Nashville District from the Tennessee Tom Bigby Waterway Transportation Museum in Columbus, Mississippi.